home for a few days. Look at these, Wolfie, aren't they marvellous? Ah! And you made them yourself? Yep, and I designed them. Jemima was on a summer fashion course, learning how to make clothes. I made this specially for you, Mum, to wear at the fashion show. Oh, it's gorgeous! Modelling, my new hobby. <laughs> oh, yes. Today, Jemima was holding a fashion show in Miss Smiley's cafe called A Passion for Fashion. <laughs> Just then, I arrived with my dolls. I'm bringing my dolls close so my dolls can have a fashion show too. Oh, that's very sweet, Elsie. And you're going to model as well, remember? I know. Cool. <laughs> I don't have enough boys to model. Why did Jason and Josh pick today to go to a cricket match? Well, I could model for you. I like dressing up. Oh, Grandpa, I didn't make anything for you to wear. Sorry. Well, if there's anything else I can do to help. Thanks, but I've got plenty of people helping already. There's me, Elsie, Mum, my two friends, Ellie and Sophia, Miss Smiley. Oh, and Mr Whoops. Mr Whoops? Is that a good idea? Oh, look at the time. We're going to be late for the rehearsal. It's OK, Mum. No need to panic. It's all under control. I'll come and pick you up later, Grandpa. Why don't you have a little lie down now? Save your energy for watching the show. I might just do that. OK. Let's go. Come on, Elsie. Mr. Whoops is bound to have a little accident, if not several. Jemima's going to need some help. But she's already got loads of people helping. But only one of them has got one of these. Not the shrinking cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know what happens when Grandpa shrinks. He runs and jumps about all over the place. And I can never catch him. about on Mrs Ostridge, which is amazing, because ostriches can't fly, actually. But today, Grandpa just jumped into my little case. Elsie, and off we went to join the others. We arrived at Miss Smiley's cafe, and soon Jemima had everything and everyone under control. Sophia and Ellie, could you put all the chairs in a line by the window? Yep, I'm on it. Mum, uh, can you sort out the music? Oh, no problem. Miss Smiley, uh, could you give the floor another sweep? Another one? Well, you're the boss. Everyone was busy, so I opened up my little case and Grandpa jumped out. He found a good place to hide. I really need a male model. Any ideas, anyone? Oh, I know someone who'd love to do it. Really? Who's that? My lovely, jubbly hubby, Mr. Whoops. Uh, wonder wife of mine. <laughs> Whoops. Mr. Whoops, a model. What did you just say? Me, a model. That's one of my dreams, that is. Oh, please let me be in passion for fashion. I think it's a wonderful idea. I knew you would. <laughs> OK, then. We'll give it a try. But Jemima wasn't too sure. Oh, I'm so pleased I came. <laughs> and guess who turned up next? <laughs> Darling! Mrs Maradardi. Mrs Maradardi is the Sunny Sands dressmaker. I've just heard about passion for fashion. Now, nobody in Sunny Sands has more passion for fashion than me, so I've come along to help. Uh, that's really kind, but I really don't need any more help. Oh, don't be silly. There's heaps to do. Are these your models? Oh, dear. No, I'm even Foster more pleased I came. Grandpa wanted to talk to me. Oh, that tummy inwards and lose the chin. That's it, lovely. Oh, well, ah, uh, yes. The Mrs. Maridardi came over. Ah, 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 ah. Just the job. Now, put these on the heads, please. I know what Mrs. Maridardi's like. She'll try to take over. We'll I've got to stop her. Elsie, come here, darling. Grandpa was right. Mrs. Maridardi was already taking over. She'd made everyone put cakes on their heads. Why have we got cakes on our heads? To help you walk with a straight back, darling. All models walk with straight backs. Have a cherry chunk, Elsie. Mr. Whoops, what are you going to put on your head? How about a tropical trifle? Oh. 
<laughs> oh dear. Poor Jemima could only sit and watch. No! Everyone ready to practice their walks? I brought along some beautiful music to help us. Think my slipping gorgeous no no poise poise and posture. Oh. I hate this music, and no one walks like that anymore. Next pair, straight back, long neck. Remember your trifle, Mr. Whoops. <laughs> Grandpa was looking worried. Then suddenly, this happened. Whoa! <laughs> oh. 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 Grandpa was covered in Miss Smiley's tropical trifle. I've got cream all over my caftan. I'll get you a cloth and I'll get the mop. Are you all right, Mr. Woods? I've got a bit of a bum. I'll, I'll go and get a bandage. I'm sorry, Mr. Whoops, but you can't possibly be a model in my fashion show. Your fashion show? No, uh, I understand. I've got to get out of these clothes. But you can't go running around the cafe in your pants. But it is Jemima's. I know. Everybody get their fashion show clothes on, please. I want to do an inspection. I put Grandpa in my case and took him into the storeroom. Do something. Oh, she's only trying to help. I don't need any more help, especially not Mrs. Maradadi's. It's all under control. At least it was. I was in the storeroom looking after Grandpa. I wiped off the trifle and put his clothes out to dry. I hope your dolls don't mind me borrowing their dressing gown. You look really cute. Hmm. Look, I've got to get back out there. Who knows what Mrs. Maridardi is up to now? Mrs. Maridardi was up to this. This dress is too long. This one's too baggy. This needs more sparkle. And this needs a huge purple flower. Really? I think they all look perfect. Perfect? No, but not to worry. It can all be fixed. I can fix everything. That's it. I give up. No, Jemima, don't. Jemima left the cafe to get some fresh air. She was upset. She's upset. But Grandpa being Grandpa had a plan. Trust me, darling. It looks fabulous. Grandpa went back to the storeroom and I went to talk to Mrs. Maridardi. Mrs. Maridardi? What is it, darling? I'm busy. I want to have a fashion show with my dolls, but their clothes aren't very good. Miss Smiley, stand still or you'll get a pin in you. They need someone really clever like you to fix them, so please can you help me? But you can see I'm very busy, darling. But nobody else can make clothes like you. You're the best clothes makery person in the whole universe. Yes. Of course, you're right. Very well, but I can't give you long. Stay there. Don't move. Oh, well done, Elsie. I'll go and get Jemima. Meanwhile, in the storeroom... I don't know what we can put on this dreadful little doll of yours. And look at the state of these. Ugh. But not to worry. It can all be fixed. I can fix everything. Our plan was working. <laughs> Mrs. Maridardi got so carried away with the doll's clothes that Jemima had plenty of time to get everything exactly how she wanted it. You all look so cool. <laughs> Especially you, Mr. Whoops. Miss Smiley thought so too. <laughs> My dolls didn't look so cool. Especially not Grandpa. See, I can even make a dreadful little doll like that look beautiful. I can fix everything. Just then, Jemima came in. Elsie, I need you. Everyone's here. Passion for fashion's about to begin. I thought the dreadful little doll would like to watch. So, I put her in my pocket. Then, the music started. What? What? Up and down we went in Jemima's amazing clothes. Do come and watch, Mrs. Maradardi. And Mr. Whoops didn't fall over once. Oh no, I forgot to go and collect Grandpa. Auntie Jules had no idea he'd been here all the time. I put Grandpa on a shelf. Everyone was very impressed. Even Mrs. Maradardi. Bravo! 
None of this would have happened without my help. When the fashion show was over, Auntie Jules brought us home in Campo. Grandpa had changed back into his own clothes. Cup of Grandpa, quick! We did it, Elsie. We helped Jemima and she didn't even know. <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> Grandpa, I'm ever so sorry. We were so busy with the fashion show, I just couldn't get away. I can't believe you missed it. It's such a shame. Oh, never mind. Did it go well? Brilliantly. See, I told you I didn't need your help. I had it all under control. 